Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Carlene Chavis. Of all the nights, right? We've waited yeah. and waited for rain and then boom, right on the tree lighting. Yeah. The kids especially. <laughs> and you see their faces? Mm -hmm. They like, were so oh. sad, but they'll but they remember saw Santa. it. They and saw that's Santa. true. And they'll remember this tree and, lighting. And, and he'll appreciate them being patient. Yes. Oh, they'll be on the good list. On the good list. Go. Yeah, not the naughty one. So that's a good thing. Going into our forecast, we are getting more rain. It's on the way. So everyone's been asking me, so are we done? No, not even close. As we go into tomorrow, we have more rain that will be in the works because not just one, but two areas of low pressure moving in are bringing in the wet weather that we need here in the county. Current temperatures, we are mainly in the 60s. We're at 60 degrees for Poway, 66 for downtown, 58 degrees for Ramona, one degree less for Alpine, and 41 degrees Palomar Mountain. We have a strong onshore flow in spots with the wind starting to pick up. 37 miles per hour is a sustained wind speed for Mount Laguna. Also at 16 miles per hour for Julian, 12 for Ramona, 18 for Campo. Oh. And we're starting to get some of that in. Okay, so also talking about uh, the gusts picking up. So we have 48 miles per hour, strong onshore flow. That's for Mount Laguna, also at 19 miles per hour for Alpine. Seeing those double digits for Poway, the same for uh, Del Mar, and 20 miles per hour in downtown. We have a lot of moisture that's on the way. So now we're seeing a lot of it move out, but it's only a break in the rainfall. So we had lots of heavy rain earlier today. Most of that activity stretching from Pine Valley all the way to the desert and heavier rainfall will continue to drift towards the east. Right behind it, we have a few isolated showers we're seeing across Ramona, Santee, also Chula Vista and downtown, but we're not done just yet because as I said, it's a tale of two lows. So we have the second one that's going to move in and that one's a cold one. A cold area of low pressure that's moving in from the Pacific Northwest that will add into the instability by tomorrow morning. We are looking at a chance for showers and pocket thunderstorms and that will continue into our forecast all the way into the afternoon hours. By the afternoon with the heating of the day, adding into that instability, you're seeing more extensive downpours in the forecast 2 p.m. and even a little mix of some ice over our local mountains. With the storm system, it continues to bring in showers by 430 for tomorrow and also seeing that activity stream all the way into tomorrow night. Sticking around even for Thursday, we will not break out of this wet weather pattern until we get into late Thursday night around 10 p.m. So that area of low pressure that moved in today, that was tropical moisture. That's why our temperatures didn't cool that much. We actually had a high of 77 for downtown, still above average. But this next one that moves in, that's going to knock us down to 60 degrees at the coast, 62 for a high, 58 degrees. That will be the high for the inland valleys. And then we'll warm up as we go into the weekend into the low 70s with drier days ahead of us. Also seeing some shower activity for the mountains and the desert drying out once we get past Thursday night and temperatures will start to rebound as well. Chilly for tomorrow. Boot weather, umbrellas, everything. Bundle Gotta up. bundle up. Mm, kind of like it. Maybe a layer or two. All yeah. right. Take Thanks it slowly me. on the roads. Yes. Thanks, Carly.